<laughs> Welcome back to Chamberlain Family Farms. So today we're in the root cellar and we're going to get this thing built up. Uh, so, as you can see, I've started on the fourth course, which, of course, is a lair, those that don't know. So, as you can see, it's not real big, but this ought to be plenty for uh, vegetables and stuff like that, fruit. Now, don't criticize my work, y'all, because uh, I'm doing this by myself, and it is a pain in the butt. Now, for those who are thinking about actually building one, definitely go wider out than what you're planning. I mean, I want about a half a foot on each side. But as you see, the mud came down. And this course here was especially hard because there was roots. You got all this brush coming up and everything because we've had to wait because, I mean, all the mud and everything in here Whenever you're laying block or brick, you need mortar. Mortar does not have any gravel in it whatsoever. It's just lime dust and sand. So, but if you're gonna do like a sidewalk or something like that, or a patio, you need to have concrete, which does have the rock and stuff in it. So whenever I'm laying block or brick, I usually get a board. It'd be pretty much any kind of board as long as it's uh, wide enough to put your mud on. So I'll put two, three uh, shovelfuls of mud on this, or mortar, and uh, we'll start laying. So, I don't know if you can see very well or not, but I put the mud on the block. Then I buttered this end. Which sometimes mud will fall off like his side did. The other side's still on, but... You'll have it. Horse fly. All right, this is called a masonry hammer, brick hammer. So this next piece I've got actually cut. So I'm gonna cut about this much off. What you'll do is, is you'll like that all the way across, then you'll do the other side and it'll come off.
so to butter a block. Now, as you can see on this side here, there's not very much mortar. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on this side and go down like that, okay? And then you're gonna scoop the other way on the other side. So. And that's how you butter. Now these are just some busted up uh, concrete pads that mom had. Gonna need some more. Waiting on mom and dad to order some more block so we can go ahead and finish this. We'll go another four or five layers and then we'll be ready to put the roof on. that we had to be able to place it on the front of the shelter that will hold a lot of weight. And you see we've had it for a good while. It's got moss growing on it and everything, but it's uh, got rebar down the middle of it, so it should still be good and sturdy. So he's just going to set it over on the structure for right now. All right, so we're getting ready to move this great big lentil. It's going to go clear across the front on both sides. Kind of help dirt from coming down on each side of the cellar. So here we go. Nobody asked your opinion. Now be careful, I just laid this top layer so it's going to be weak. I can't lift it. Oh. Oh. Can't move. Do everything before I'm ready. Okay, easy. Not on that. Look at you guys. Easy peasy. It's like we've done that before. You didn't get on video. No, we hadn't. Yeah, we you did. know how heavy that thing is? Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, we got the wall finished. Now it's time to fill these holes up, or at least a few of them. We're gonna put these elbows down in here with concrete. And we're gonna go probably about to there. So we're gonna put a hole all the way through the boards, these four before post. And then on the top part, we're gonna go with a wider bit. We're gonna drill down to put the nut and the washer on. And what this is gonna do, this is gonna help keep, keep the roof where it ain't gonna go nowhere, so. But to do that, as you can see, that hole goes pretty far down there. We don't want to fill all that up with concrete all the way down the bottom. You can be stronger, but it's also a lot more expensive. So what I usually do is I'll get one of the mortar bags or concrete bags, rip it up however you have to, and then we'll just simply shove it down that hole. The bags themselves being paper, they're gonna actually absorb some of that concrete water and dry it up even quicker, so. Just like that, and we'll just put concrete, concrete around it. I already got the concrete made, and you do want to use concrete for this, not mortar. You can use mortar, but concrete's a little bit more stout, so. And you're gonna need your trial too, still. So what I typically do is I'll actually use a board 
that I'm going to use. Got this pretty far out on the edge. So what I'll do is I'll put concrete in here, and then, and then these L bolts, I'll just stick them right down, right up against this. All right, so we got this side done. Now we'll go ahead and do the other side. Uh, we'll give this just a few minutes to dry, kind of harden up a little bit. We'll go ahead and we'll move this board off and we'll, uh, any concrete that's underneath there, we'll go ahead and we'll uh, flatten it out a little bit. So that part of it's done. Guys, that's the end of this video. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you would, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll put the rip of stuff on later. Thank you for watching Chamberlain Family Farms. You can contact us at chamberlainff at gmail.com. You can also see us on Facebook, Chamberlain Family Farms. We hope you enjoy. Please like and subscribe.